Hello, my name is Simonaz and welcome to another Simonaz video. Today, what I have to share with you is the sweatiest and most degenerate thing I've seen in Season of Discovery so far. Myself, as well as some other players, have figured out how to obtain the Crusader enchant in Phase 3 at level 50. Crusader is a very powerful weapon enchant that gives a chance on hit to heal you and increase your strength by 100 for 15 seconds. This is an absurdly strong enchant for any class that cares about strength, especially warriors. I'd say many people know about how to get the enchanting formula to learn the Crusader enchant. It's dropped by these Scarlet Spellbinders in Western Plaguelands. Getting the formula isn't the tricky part though. I imagine most players assumed that the enchant couldn't be performed because the righteous orbs required to do the crusader enchant come from the Strathome instance, and that instance is locked off. We can't go in. However, there is one mob that players can access that can drop righteous orbs, the Crimson Courier in Eastern Plaguelands. According to Wowhead's data, the Courier has about a 2% chance to drop an orb, similar to many of the Crimson mobs within the Strathholm instance that we can't get into. This mob is not so simple to farm and kill though. It is a level 60 elite mob with Holy Light to heal itself, Hammer Justice to stun you, and most importantly, is accompanied by four Crimson Bodyguards, level 57 to 58 melee mobs that have Disarm, Shield Bash, Spell Interrupt, and a long range charge and knockback combo ability. I thought if I could separate the courier from her bodyguards, I might stand a chance at kiting and killing it, and I found out that is indeed possible. I used a split pull to achieve this. A split pull is where you hit all the mobs at the same time with one single ability. If you do this, their combat will not be linked together. And since they're so high level with such a large aggro radius, doing this was tricky. But Iron Grenade afforded me a 45 yard range AoE attack and was the perfect item for the job. After initiating combat with the Iron Grenade, I continued to strike the courier with a poison knife range attack while running away and completely ignoring the bodyguards. This refreshes the leash timer of the courier, but because of my special pull technique, it does not refresh the leash timer of the bodyguards. Done correctly, the bodyguards will eventually reset and I've got the courier alone. But if you didn't do the special pull technique where you hit them all at once with one ability, the bodyguards and courier will be linked, and when one of them resets, they will all reset. Now surely you could take a massive squad of people out here to brute force it and kill them all, but as a rogue player, I prefer a more subtle approach. Some classes will definitely be able to take out the courier solo after splitting her away from the bodyguards, but not a rogue. She'll try to heal herself when she's below 50%, so it's important to have either really high DPS or reliable spell interrupts, which a rogue does not have at range. So however you choose to, with whatever friends you have, you can kill the Crimson Courier. The Courier spawns right outside the entrance to Stratholm and goes from there all the way through the zone, through Corrin's Crossing and into Tyr's Hand where it despawns. I waited for about 40 minutes after killing the Courier one time before she respawned at Stratholm, but most of my kills were the result of swapping layers and hoping the mob was spawned on the new layer I went to. I did not personally witness her dropping a Righteous Orb, but that isn't surprising since the drop chance is supposedly only 2% and I only killed her four times. One person on my stream said they saw a Righteous Orb on their server's auction house. There's also a comment on Wowhead from 2019 Classic stating they killed this mob and got a Righteous Orb. The drop data on Wowhead has 1,011 kills and 21 recorded orb drops, and my streamer friend Sarth popped into the stream also, saying he knows a guild in Season of Discovery that has farmed six Righteous Orbs already. All that taken together, I'm confident in saying that yes, this is a real way to get Righteous Orbs in Phase 3 of Season of Discovery and potentially obtain a Crusader enchant. This is by far the most degenerate thing I've seen so far in Season of Discovery, and I really wanted to share it with y'all since it's just amazing the lengths some players will go to to push the limits of their characters, and I think that's really cool. I want to give a big shout out to my rogue friends Vexed, Plundered, and Corvina who came out to Eastern Plagueland to help me kill these stupid couriers. I couldn't have done this without you, so big thanks to you guys. Let me know in the comments if you kill the courier, if you get a Righteous Orb, or if you're rocking a Crusader enchant already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having fun in Season of Discovery, and I hope you have a great day.